Okay, welcome back. Today you're gonna um, see the initiation process. So our technician has completed the cannulation of both arterial and venous needles. Both lines are primed, so we are sure that they're in place properly. Um, so as you can see, the treatment, the patient's treatment is already programmed in the machine. So all the technician has to do now is to connect the cannulation lines to the venous and arterial blood lines. So he has lowered the blood flow rate to 200 in anticipation for the initiation. So he's gonna go ahead and stop the blood pump and he's gonna put the clamp, the small white clamp on your saline line and also clamp with an additional safety clamp as he did. Now he's going to get his blood lines from the machine. Okay, you could see there the two patient ends. Okay, and he's gonna clamp both venous and arterial end and bring that over to the patient's cannulation lines that's attached to the needles that's in her arms, in, in her arm. And you can see he's connecting the arterial blood line to the cannulation line and he's opening up the clamps and securing the line. He's going to do the same, connect the venous blood line to the cannulation line and release both clamps. Okay, he's going to change his gloves now because he's touched um, the some blood, minute amount as it might be, he changes his gloves and now he's going to start the blood pump. Okay, and we also have to, he's securing his lines to make sure there are no accidents, just as an addition, uh, additional precaution. So we also have to manually start the patient's treatment and he's waiting for the blood to come in or to be sensed. As he starts the treatment, there's gonna be connection or communication with the electronic health record and the machine. Okay, as the patient starts, an initial blood pressure will be taken and that's happening now. At the same time, the technician is also looking at the venous and arterial pressures with the blood flow rate at 200 ml per minute. So with the arterial um, pressure, if it goes way below zero, close to minus or negative 300, it means that the patient's access is not giving a good blood flow. You're not getting enough blood flow from the axis. If the venous pressure goes above 140 to 160 at a 200 ml per minute blood flow, it tells you your needle is probably not incorrectly or something is a little kink. If you start your pump and your venous pressure goes all the way to the top, it means that if your patient's access is not infiltrated because you're gonna to look to make sure there's no swelling, then you have a clamp engaged. Remember, venous pressure measures the pressure in the line where the blood is returning to the patient. Okay, so that's why you keep your flow at 200 for uh, like the first few minutes to do your assessment. If everything is good, then you're gonna turn up your blood flow rate to the prescribed flow. Okay, and Okay, 
Okay, so the technician was a bit cautious in uh, increasing the blood flow. He went in increments of 50. Okay, so that's, that's a safe way if you want to be extra cautious. And if your protocol says that's what you do, that's what you do. And most technicians will do that just as um, a precautionary measure. So we can see her blood flow rate is at prescribed rate and your arterial pressure is negative 170 and your venous pressure is 140. That is perfect. Okay, so pa patient's treatment is in progress. Great, and patient's doing well. Her blood pressure is fine. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and su subscribe. Dialysis Training Institute of Excellence, 831 Merrick Road, Baldwin, New York. Our phone number, 516-705-4637. Thanks for watching.